the Miami Dolphins managed to win a game that they should have run away with. Instead, it was Justin Fields who ran away from Miami. In the end, a gratuitous non-flag allowed the Dolphins to improve to 6-3. In Chicago, the Miami Dolphins' defense was pretty much non-existent against the Bears, specifically quarterback Justin Fields who ran for 178 yards, a touchdown, and threw three others. On the day, Fields only threw for 123 yards but he didn't need to do much with his arm. He was perfectly fine running through the Dolphins' defense like a warm knife through butter. Luckily for the Dolphins, Tua was once again near perfect. He had one incomplete pass in the first half of the game and finished with 302 yards passing on 21 of 30 completions. His day was highlighted by three touchdowns but it should have been more. Tua missed a couple of plays late in the game when the Dolphins could have put the game away midway through the fourth quarter but instead, his missed throws, one deep to Jalen Waddle that was short and another flat pass to Durham Smythe that went into the ground. Could have made this game a blowout and compensate for the defensive struggles, you can never blame a loss on a bad penalty, well not most of the time but if you were a Chicago Bears fan, or had the Dolphins been on the other side of a late non-pass interference call, you might be a little upset. Late in the fourth fields threw deep to Darnell Mooney and he was interfered with. A flag wasn't thrown. Miami was given a gift. We can argue whether or not a flag should have been thrown but there is no question Miami fans would be livid if it was the other way around. Chicago didn't lose the game on a non-called penalty but it would have set them up for a potential game-tying field goal. Chicago lost because they couldn't stop the Dolphins' offense for the first three quarters, Tyreek Hill had yet another huge game catching seven passes for 143 yards and a touchdown while Jalen Waddle caught five passes for 85 and a score. Perhaps the biggest pleasant surprise was the debut of Jeff Wilson, Jr. who ran nine times for 51 yards, a 5.7 average, and caught three passes for 21 yards and a touchdown. With the win, Miami improves to 6-3 and will face the Browns at Hard Rock Stadium next. Weekend